So he says, freely you've received, freely give. He didn't say pick and choose, right? Jesus sent out laborers to heal the sick, cast out devils and raise the dead. That must be God's will. Listen, Jesus told his disciples, go do this. He, listen, he did not give them any qualifications. He didn't, meaning, he didn't say, uh, go out and heal the sick that deserve it. Go out and heal the sick that ask you. Go out and heal the sick that have enough faith. He didn't say any of that stuff. He just said, go heal. Why? I give you power. Listen, what do you need power for if they have to have faith? You see, if they have faith, they can get it for themselves. You don't need power. But if he gave you power, then you have faith for them. And the faith, and listen, people, well, I just don't know if I have that kind of faith. You're talking about God. How can you not have faith in God? He is the most predictable, the most faithful person you'll ever, ever come into contact with. And you say, well, I just don't know if, if I've got that kind of faith. That kind of faith ain't about you. Your faith is in him. See, I do not have faith in healing. I have faith in a God that heals. So my faith is not in healing, because if you have faith in healing, if somebody doesn't get healed, your faith is gone. But if you have faith in God that heals, people get healed. Amen? So our faith is in God. That's, but you can't have faith beyond what you know about God. That's why he says he wants us, what? To have the eyes of our understanding. In Ephesians chapter 1, verse 17 through 23, he says that the eyes of our understanding will be enlightened Right? that we might be given the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Not revelation in things to come. Not revelation in, well, what, is, what does the book of Revelation mean? No, revelation in the knowledge of him. Why? Because the more knowledge of him you get and the more revelation that you have of that knowledge, the more faith you have in him. Because your faith will rise to the level of your knowledge and that, that word revealed there, it's, a, it's where we get the word apocalypse, believe it or not. Uh, apolupto, apolupto, I think. Apocalypto, that's it. And it just, it simply means to take away the veil. Now, so revelation is simply how God starts to move like a, like a curtain. You know, you pull the string and the curtain starts to rise. And, and when it... You ever seen these? The best illustration we have now is really not curtains anyway, because a lot of people don't have those kind of curtains. But if you see these uh, television programs where they redo a house and then they give it to somebody, and they always have the big thing in front and they're ready for the reveal, that's what it is. They go, Are you ready? Yep. And then they part that thing. And you ever see, sometimes they go pretty quick, but sometimes they go slow. You ever notice that? Why? Because sometimes revelation is quick. Other times it's a little slower, and you see this much, then you, ooh, ooh, oh, okay, now, see, why? Because you're getting greater and greater revelation, greater and greater revealing. Do you get that? And the more that's revealed of the knowledge of God, the more you know about him, and the more you know about him, the more faith you have. I mean, don't think about your faith. Think about who you have faith in. See it from his eyes, not your eyes. Amen? And you see what he does, and you're like, wow, that's amazing. 